Well, I think, you know, number one, when you talk about, when you work with a private lender or hard money lender like Talamar, uh, we are a direct lender. So um, it's important that, you know, you understand that. I mean, there's a lot of hard money lender sources out there, but most of them are just brokers. And not saying that, you know, anything wrong with a broker, but you want to get to kind of where the money is. And so if you give me a call on a, on a lending option that you have, a, you, know, you have a client looking for funds, I can tell you pretty much right there if we can do it and what the pricing would be and about how long it's going to take. Um, like I said, we've been around in business for over 12 years. And so um, I've seen it all. So uh, I can tell, like I said, I can tell you if I can do it I, or if I can't. Uh, we handle all of California. So um, if you got anything over the state of California, please give me a call. Most of the business I do though, obviously is my backyard in San Diego County and surrounding areas. But uh, yeah, I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to be a resource for you. I think what, who would be an ideal candidate for the services you provide? Like what would you be looking for? I know you touched on that, yeah. but really like who, who is the best? So from a straight borrower standpoint, we're talking to borrower that can't get conventional financing. So they may not have the credit. They may, they may be a business owner and don't have the cash flow. So they just don't show taxable income and therefore they can't get bank financing. Uh, they may own a real estate asset that isn't bankable. Um, maybe it's a, de it's a deteriorated property, um, location, something that a bank doesn't want to finance. Um, and then in terms of real estate agents, I get about 75% of my business from agents and mortgage brokers. So uh, we're a great resource to them when a deal isn't going the way that it should be or they have a client that can't get financing. That's 75% of our business. If you have a property that maybe has um, residential housing on it. Mm -hmm. and again it's acreage but mm -hmm. it's got some issues let's say there's issues with the septic system and okay. that's why or the electrical system mm -hmm. or maybe even the well okay so now you got a situation where it's not really inhabitable yeah. until you make the improvements okay but once you have the septic system and the well all working yeah. then it's that's habitable. Yeah. So we'll exactly. absolutely take a look at that. So that's kind of similar to what we call our fix and flip loan. Right. Not saying that they're going to flip the property per se, but we would maybe give them a loan. We would hold back the proceeds of that loan and give that to them over the course of the renovations on the property. So to ensure that the work actually gets done. Right. So you have like a construction reserve, main, yep. reserve set up. And it's going to all be predicated on the, on, you know, the value weight, where the property is located, strength of sponsor, uh, so when I sponsor borrower. Um, and then um, what the improvements that need to be done and then at the end of the day, the loan to value, what that, what that property is going to be valued at once those renovations are done. You gotta figure out, okay, who's the buyer gonna be? What's it truly gonna sell for? How long is it gonna take me to market this property? Because you, the worst thing you can have, obviously, is that loan going to default. Right. And, and the intention of trying to help the borrower, but yet, you know, you can't move the property. What if they had a licensed contractor with a fixed price contract to do this work? Would that ease your mind? In that well, it would be a necessity that in order for us to do the loans that you, you know, you've been talking about, it would be a necessity that we'd have to have that done. Okay. But again, it's just get overcoming the consumer nature of that loan. But yeah, I mean, we're not, we're not here to put people out of business. Right. Right. And that's, um, that I want to have a clean exit. I don't want to be having a, you know, an issue at the end of the loan. I want to make sure that everyone is happy.